The most important change um, of recent has been in patient acuity. We now have fewer nurses to care for the patients in the ICU. The number of patients a nurse will care for has gone up, but the acuity has remained the same. In the past, a patient may be singled with one registered nurse, but now the registered nurse has two patients with high acuity. An example, in my ICU, there could be a total of eight patients in total, but only five registered nurses to care for those patients. This may cause many things to not happen. Um, some were already brought up. They may seem minor or simple, but very important to healing and patient safety. An example is a patient not getting out of bed or not being repositioned because of decreased staffing increases the chance of having a decube. A decubitus ulcer, they're prominent in patients that don't get out of bed or repositioned. My coworker may not be able to assist me and leave their patients because they probably have two and there's no one else. The next person has two patients and two patients. So now I'm tying up two nurses in my room, my, my one room, and therefore leaving only three registered nurses to take care of the rest of the patients. I have seen these simple tasks, I've seen simple tasks not done um, for these patients and they, re they rely on us at the bedside solely to care for them to the best of our ability. And this isn't always done. This is it does. <laughs> Another example occurred a few weeks ago. I was caring for a patient who had 14 pumps, four of which were blood pressure medicine. She was intubated, A line, central line. She was a full code, dialysis at the bedside. A year or two ago, this patient would have two nurses without question, without question. It wouldn't even be. The night nurse was by himself as well. There was no second nurse. I said, well, who's the second nurse? He said, it was just me. I said, well, do I have a second nurse? And he said, no. Now, this patient's a full code. And four blood pressure medicines to maintain blood pressure. A family, we're trying to get the family in to make decisions. And supporting the family, I did not get to this poor patient's mouth until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which to me is absolutely unacceptable as a caregiver. We, oh, it's just wrong. I know, I know, but it's just, it's just not okay. Um, and it bothers me to this day. She will stay with me forever. I had help from my coworkers, which was thankfully I did, but I didn't need the help. I needed another nurse to do one task, whether it's the dialysis or the patient, or turn the patient, or do something. There needed to be a second nurse in this room. And management was told, and I, they just said, oh, okay, and walked away. I did tell the charger, I said, well, there isn't anybody, and I can help you, because there was nobody. There was nobody. And that patient, according to me, suffered. She ended up becoming a DNR because she did get so sick, but that is just not okay. She was a full co when I picked her up until about one or two o'clock in the afternoon. The family support needed to be done, and it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a fleeting thing. And I feel bad that if that was my loved one in that bed, that I would feel that the nurse just didn't care. Little do they know that I'm you know, hanging everything up and doing everything. And you know, I have to say that being at the Brigham for 26 years states something. It's a great place to work. But I think the changes that we've made, I think we may have gone a little too far one way. We need to get balanced. I think we just need to get balanced. And I see where they're coming from, and they want to make changes. And I, I agree with them. I think that some things can be changed, but I think we've just gone too far with the pendulum, and we need to bring it back to the center. And we really need to have more of a conversation with management and nursing and talk together, because everybody wants the best for the patients. I don't think management wants anything bad. They, they want what's best, but they have to listen to people that are actually doing the job at the bedside. And just lastly, for, for most people, becoming a nurse is a calling, and it's not to be give, it, to not be able to give your best is it's just not okay. It is just not okay. And I just thank you for your time, and I'm sorry for upset.